Ali Mamluk, former head of the Bureau of National Security, Syria's highest ranking intelligence authority, Jamil Hassan, former director of Air Force Intelligence, and Abdel Salam Mahmoud, former director of Syrian Intelligence's investigation branch. Those are the three Syrian officials accused of complicity in crimes against humanity who stand trial in a Paris court on Tuesday. All three are subject to international arrest warrants and are not expected to appear at the trial. They are suspected of involvement in the disappearance and death of two Franco-Syrians, Mazen Dabach, an employee of the French International School in Damascus, and his son Patrick, a 20-year-old student, both arrested in November 2013. They were at home around 11 p.m., they were eating and talking, and then three or four soldiers knocked on the door. They wanted Patrick. They entered and took his computer and phone away. They came back the next day and said to my brother, you haven't raised your son well, so you're coming with us. Since the two disappeared, we've never had an explanation from the Syrian authorities. The family say the two men were taken to Meza Airport, one of the regime's known torture centres. It wasn't until five years later, in August 2018, that the family received two death certificates. The son Patrick is said to have died in January 2014 and his father in November 2017 in unknown circumstances. The French investigating judges say the two men, like thousands of prisoners detained by Air Force Intelligence, suffered torture to such a degree that it led to their deaths. Testimonies from dozens of victims of the regime and defectors are expected to feature in the trial, which aims to establish what happened and determine the responsibility of those at the highest levels of the Syrian regime.